Hello Virgos! This is your You vs. Them reading for April 1st through April 15th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. Please show me the past issues that Virgo had with this connection. Virgo's past issues. Justice. Mm, you felt like things were not fair. Okay, you were you weren't getting receiving what you were actually giving to a situation here. Somebody was taking advantage. What was the other person's issues with the relationship? Other person's issues. Lots of cards want to come out there. Ten of Cups. They just were not being fulfilled. Okay. They felt like something was definitely lacking here as far as the emotions were concerned. Um, you guys were not emotionally supportive is what I'm getting from this. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. What's keeping Virgo from this individual? What's keeping Virgo from this individual? Individual. What's keeping Virgo from this person? Page of Pentacles. I feel that something else has piqued your guys, you know, you guys' interest here. There's something else um, that you feel like would be more beneficial for you. I think you guys want to... Um, there's something that something else that you want to do, something new you want to do. You guys want to explore some options here, I do feel. I don't see the Seven of Cups here, but I'm definitely getting that sense that um, you guys are kind of over something. Hmm. What's keeping this person from Virgo? The Five of Wands. It's just too much bickering and arguing. Um, there may have been some physical fights here, but I feel like for the most part, you know, you guys just, you know, you don't tend to get along in the same room. Hmm. Let's see. What's currently going on for Virgo? What's currently going on for Virgo? Two of Pentacles. You've got a lot to think about here. Again, I feel that you guys are, you would definitely want to do what's right because I'm getting that, you know, you don't want bad karma. So you, you're trying to work with this individual. A lot of you guys probably are still with this person. Some of you are not. Um, but if you're not, you're just trying to do things in an honorable way. You're trying to do things in an honorable way, but not being quite sure of, you know, how to maneuver. You got a lot that you're thinking about, a lot that you're unsure of, but all in all, I feel that you guys are wanting to um, explore, explore elsewhere. What's currently going on for the other person? What's currently going on for the other person? The King of Pentacles. They're working. Mm hmm. They're working. They're thinking about. Um, they're thinking about this relationship. They're thinking about the happy times as well as the you know the arguments and the the conflict and the disagreements but i think most of the focus is on this ten of cups because even though they felt like you know you guys weren't you know at all times emotionally supportive uh there still was a level of happiness that this connection um brings this person or has brought this person if you guys are no longer together I feel like they think about you guys a lot. They they think about what you've actually done for them financially, how supportive you've been. Um, maybe not you know as emotionally 
invested as they would have liked for you to be but definitely all other Aries I feel like um, this person felt like you guys had it in a bag hmm what's influencing Virgo right now what's influencing Virgo ten of wands I'm getting that um, even though you guys don't feel like you know things are good with this connection for some of you that are still in a connection I'm feeling that even though you're not extremely happy here currently it's too much of a burden you feel to start over again okay and I think that's why you you come in here with this two of Pentacles because it's like I really don't know what to do I know I'm not truly happy in this situation but do I really want to start over because I'm getting that you guys probably have invested a lot of time in this situation and not truly wanting to give up what's influencing the other person what's influencing the other person okay that one wanted to come out they don't know what to do they feel stuck they feel like their hands are tied they are trying to come up with you know ways to I feel fix this but currently they feel like there's nothing that they can do no matter what they do you know is it's not going to help things or fix things like they just you know they feel like what's gonna be um, will be feeling a little helpless in this situation currently because every time you guys get together it's like you know a, a fight happens guys can't seem to get along what's coming in for Virgo what's coming in for Virgo the magician there you are I'm definitely feeling like you guys will get this figured out um, and, and I think deep down inside you guys know what to do Okay, because the magician has the tools, has the skills. All you have to do is put them into action. Okay, if you want to start over, if you feel like this is truly done and over with, then you know, you guys can make it happen. I feel that whatever happens in this situation is up to you because this person has taken their hands off of it feeling helpless in this situation, okay? I think they're really basically waiting on you guys to decide um, both of your fates here as far as this connection is concerned. What's coming in for the other person? The Seven of Cups. I felt like that Seven of Cups was going to show up somewhere. Scorpio energy. Hmm. This person could have options. They could have um, different people or situations that they are exploring as well but I get that there's a lot of confusion coming in here because I don't feel that this person wants to separate um, or stay separated here I get that this person feels helpless and they're really confused about what to do they feel like they need to do something <coughs> excuse me but there is a feeling of helplessness um, in this situation that no matter what they do, you know, it's not gonna, <clears throat> it's not going to, <coughs> excuse me, dang it, it's not gonna work out. <clears throat> hmm. All right, let's see what the advice is for you guys. I need to get some water. <clears throat> what is the advice for Scorpio? 
What's the advice for Scorpio? The sun. Do what makes you happy. <clears throat> Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. <clears throat> Every time I get choked up like this out the blue, <clears throat> there <clears throat> it's a strong message that, um, and I'm feeling like it's it's the Scorpios for some reason that um, for those of you who are dealing with a Scorpio, um, this person really does not want you to leave okay because as I was saying do what makes you happy I'm seeing what makes you happy is probably to start over again to manifest a better situation for yourselves this person does not want you to <clears throat> to leave <coughs> this situation okay <clears throat> okay let me get through this. What would be the advice for, oh my gosh, what would be the advice for them? What would be the advice for them? The Ten of Wands. Okay. I feel like this is to, you know, clear the confusion. Okay don't feel like they have to hold everything on their shoulders or hold everything in. Um, I think that, you know, there is a new slate. The slate needs to be wiped clean. I feel. Okay. The slate needs to be wiped clean. Um, both of you guys have the Ten of Wands now feeling burden feeling like you're carrying a lot on your shoulders and for some of you who this is <clears throat> you guys are still with this person I think this is you know knowing when to basically let go when enough is enough okay when enough is enough and to start over you know possibly somewhere new um possibly not together you know this is a strong message for a lot of you guys who are still together here okay <clears throat> but if you're separate from this person um then this person does not know how to fix things with you guys they definitely want to let bygones be bygones here and you guys kind of you know start anew <clears throat> what is the outcome for Virgo? What's the outcome for Virgo? Eight of Cups, definitely walking away. Leaving behind the energy of, you know, whatever is not making you guys happy. Um, it's time to be happy. Whatever that means for you. Without, you know, trying to hurt someone else. But sometimes when we, we are doing things that make us happy... Um, you know, people get hurt along the way unintentionally, but this is, you know, going and doing things that make you happy. Okay. The eight of cups is leaving behind that energy of, you know, feeling like you're sacrificing yourself, your emotions for a situation here. <clears throat> What's the outcome for them? What's the outcome for them? The Page of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person knows that you guys, you know, you want to leave. And I feel like they are, you know, they're not with it. Um, but they know, I I'm feeling that this has been a long time coming. Is what I'm getting from this. Okay. And they're realizing that, you know, they're probably going to have to start over too. Do new things you know um, make a new life okay for those of you who are parting ways <clears throat> now for those of you guys who are actually currently in separation 
I see this person wanting to approach you guys with an apology. Definitely. They want to talk something out. If it's not an apology, this person definitely wants to, you know, talk things out, work things out. They really do not want you to leave. Okay. So we have um, Capricorn, Gemini, Scorpio is here. Um, Libra, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces. I think I said Sagittarius already. Um, I feel Taurus is here as well. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you guys and I'll be seeking with you soon.